Oh, shit, we're supposed to be listening. <gasps> oh, oh. Okay, I think I found something, Professor. Hello, and welcome to the Nerd Out Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out. And this is episode four of New Pokemon Snap. And in the last episode, well, <laughs> the professor once again promised that he has something to report and that I would be pleased to hear it. And he has yet to deliver. All right, so apparently we have to get our photos squared away, but I'm beginning to not believe you, professor. <laughs> all right, let's save our photos to album. All right, and then we got all our nighttime photos here. Oh, and look, there's a second page. Um, I think I missed that last time, so <laughs> I might have uh, not saved some good photos. I might have missed a few good ones. All right, so, oh, here we go. All right, so that was a good one. I mean, it's a two star, so let's go ahead and do that one. And then we got, oh, we got a three star Murkrow over here. All right, save that, buddy. Oh, and then we need to do the score bunny over here. Yeah, because he's got the fire trails. <laughs> Those are awesome. All right, now let's go to the second page. All right, oh, the swan and the ducklets. Yep, all right, saving that one. And then what else we got? Oh, we have the face shot, hoot hoot. All right, we'll save that. I don't know if there's a limit to how many I can save. It says I already saved 39, I think. So uh, we'll just keep saving them until it says uh, we can't anymore. Oh, okay, it's counting down. Oh, I have 38 left. Okay, uh, that's, that's how they get you. <laughs> All right, that's enough photos for now. Let's return to camp. Whoa, hmm, that's intriguing. Something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Its source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly, which suggests what we've got here is... An Illumina Pokemon? We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So, I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. Ah, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. Please, head out as soon as you're ready. All right, I'm ready, let's go. Let's go to the Illumina spot in the nature park. We might find an Illumina Pokemon there. Oh, the Illumina spot. All right, let's go. All right, here we are, back at night. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? Uh, no, the force field's up, Professor. Uh, there's the Pokestop over there, it looks like, or a Crystal Bloom. Oh, shoot, we're supposed to be listening. <gasps> oh, oh. Okay, I think I found something, Professor. Whoa! Whoa, there we go. I think I found it. <laughs> Oh, hey, buddy. What's up, dude? That Mega Neum's the Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. All right, hang on. I got to get my camera out. All right, okay. We got to take his picture. Oh, don't run away, dude. Okay, well, I got a good butt shot of him. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, scan. Get his, get his attention. Get the butt shot. <laughs> All right, dude. Oh, turn around. Turn around, dude. Oh, man. Oh, he's going to the Crystal Bloom. There he goes. Oh, wow. Oh, he's doing something crazy. He's glowing. He's glowing even more. All right, just take a lot of photos. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, come back. Oh, man. All right. Um, please give me something better than a butt shot, dude. <laughs> That's a good glowing butt shot. All right, there we go. Come on, get a face shot. Nice. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, let's go around this tree here. Oh, let's get him. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, man, there's some good shots here. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep taking shots. <laughs> nice. Hey, dude, look over here. Oh, what's he doing? What'd I miss? Oh, he's smelling the crystal bloom. Oh, get it. Oh, oh, oh that was cool. Oh, 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 he's doing, he's roaring or something. That's cool. All right, oh, and he's off. No, come back. Come back, dude. I gotta scan you. Oh, man, this tree here? Oh, that's pretty crazy. All right, where's, where's he going? Oh, there he goes, through the field. We got him. Come on, dude, come back. Yeah, there you go. Nice, give me that face shot. Oh, oh, oh perfect. And off it goes. <laughs> well, hopefully I got some good shots, Professor. The energy reading is gone, too. Let's chat when you get back. All right, there we go, we're going back. 
We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. All right, here we go. Nice. <laughs> Always with the butt shots. Oh, man. Okay, so are any of these any good? Um, let's go over. Oh, here we go. Here's some one stars. Yeah, the butt shots are um, zero stars. All right, did we get... Whoa, we got some two stars. Okay. Any three stars? No, three stars. Come on, he's looking at me right there. That's a pretty good shot. All right, so let's pick some of these uh, two stars. Yeah. Um, I don't know if those are any good, but... Well, <laughs> I can't even see his face in that one. All right, let's go ahead and pick this one, and let's show the professor. Here we go, professor's evaluation, Illumina spot. All right, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, there we go, that's definitely new. Is this an Illumina phenomenon chain reaction? Great timing, this is well taken, oh, thank you. All right, hopefully I get some good score here. Oh, okay, 5,000, that's good, and some two diamond stars. Interesting backgrounds make your shots even handier for our research. All right, there we go in the photo decks. All right, give me some expedition points, Professor. Yeah, level two. Look at that. You've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. All right, will do, Professor. Oh, we got a gift. All right, what do we get this time? Best shot. You got a score of 5,000 points or more. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Oh, and nice pose. Okay, we've got a thousand points in the pose category. Thank you. Oh, and gentle wonder. Sweet. Oh, and we've got a filter. What is this, Instagram? <laughs> All right, cell shaded. Oh, that's pretty cool. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. Okay, you finally gonna tell me, Professor? I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> All right, let's square away our photos again. Yeah, we got a lot of shots here. Okay, so uh, that two diamond star one, I'm definitely gonna save that one. And then what else do we got? Any other good ones? I mean, they're good, but they're not any, like look at this one, that was pretty good. But they're not any, uh, you know, multiple stars or anything. Like these are pretty good too. It's kind of crazy sniffing the crystal bloom. All right, well, I guess I'm not gonna save any others. All right, let's return to camp. Yes, you're back. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Easy there, Rita, take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You are practically dancing, Professor. Ahem, <clears throat> uh, moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Mega Neom was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the legends. Remind me what the legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? So the story goes, yes. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. Sounds like our new friend. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing that you were gonna mention, Professor? Yeah, thanks, Rita. <laughs> That's all right, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Oh man, he's never gonna tell me. <laughs> Good morning, did you manage to get some sleep? Uh, I couldn't sleep thinking about what you're supposed to tell me. <laughs> Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet, but fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Well, you know, maybe. For a scientist, you sure could be vague sometimes, Professor. Still, I think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you along. Aw, <laughs> shucks. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? Oh yeah, you know it. Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge? Oh, sweet. Nice and shiny. Awesome. It's like you were born to wear it. Ah, make this look good. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits! Not to rain on your parade, Rita, but I need to get a couple more things ready first. Ah, oh, come on! Just a little bit longer, alright? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Oh yeah, sure you will. <laughs> oh, okay, we got our gift here. There we go, we got a sticker of our team badge. Awesome, you officially joined the Lentil Region Research Team. Oh. oh, what else do we get? The profile icon of the team badge. All right, I'll take that. All right, and now I've never visited the lab, so let's go check it out. I mean, technically I have been here, but <laughs> I haven't seen all my photos that I posted. 
Not that it's your first time here, of course. Yeah, that's what I just said, Rita. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First, you can check your photo decks. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do, definitely. That's the encyclopedic record you're building with the photos you're taking. Yeah, I know what it is, I know what it is. Isn't it cool getting to put together your very own photo decks? Oh yeah, but it's gonna take forever. <laughs> Next, there's your space. Oh, not my space, but your space, okay. That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. Oh, okay, that's where all the photos are going. Your album is for photos you want to keep, but not put in your photo decks. You can edit your album photos in some cool ways, too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Hey, Professor, was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Did you cover what we can do on the internet? Oh yeah, that was it. If you use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world. Oh, that's pretty cool, all right. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer, nice job, by giving the photo a little digital medal. They're called sweet medals. <laughs> That's perfect for me. <laughs> Give all you want, people love getting them. That's right, you can also see other photographers' rankings in each score category. All right, I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it all out quick. Don't be shy, try everything out. All right, here we go. So we have our photo decks over here, let's check it out. Whoa, nice. <laughs> a little nerd out sticker on there, that's pretty sweet. All right, so we have our Pokemon, let's check them out. Show me a photo of a Pokemon to make a page for it. On that page, you can move your pointer over the Pokemon and press A to see its movements and hear its cry. If you discover it has other forms, you'll be able to see those here too. Okay. All right, there we go. We have 28 photos registered and 24 Pokemon. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back. So we're gonna check out the map over here. Here you can view information about courses you've researched. Pokemon and objects of interest are marked on the maps, so you can look back on your trips. Oh yeah, okay, that's cool. Well, we've only been to Florio Nature Park so far. Look at that, there we go. So we're level two at the park during the day, level one at night, and the Lumina spot we're already level two. Oh, we've only been there a couple times, that's cool. You can see pictures from players all over the world in the online internet area. Oh, that's right, you told me about that. So uh, let's go over here to the internet area then, check it out. Come here to view photos and rankings from players all over the world. You can customize how you appear online on your page, so please check there if you're curious. Oh, okay, so other, oh, trending photos, that's pretty cool. He's got a crown? I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. There's Grookey uh, dancing around and stuff. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So let's go over to your page and let's check it out. You can customize your profile here. If you take a photo that you want to show off to players all over the world, just upload it here. Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to upload some photos. And oh, there's my code if you wanna check them out. And maybe send me some sweet medals while you're at it. <laughs> all right, but that's gonna have to wait until next time because that is it for this episode of New Pokemon Snap. If you like this video, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to you on this next video. And until next time, thank you for visiting Nerd Out Shelter. Where's the safe place to nerd out?